was a Pharisee during the time of Jesus. He was very zealous and did his best to please God any way he could. One day Stephen, a follower of Jesus, was brought before the Sanhedrin. Through the scriptures, Stephen showed them that they were not following God's plan. This angered them very much and they condemned Stephen to death. As Saul held the people's clothes, he urged the crowd on. Stone him. Kill him. That man doesn't deserve to live. He's a traitor, a blasphemer. Saul started persecuting Christians in Jerusalem, putting men, women, and even children in prison. Get rid of them. Get rid of them all. Destroy them. Crucify them. Hang them and behead them. When he heard that there were also Christians in Damascus, he raged. Come on, let's go to Damascus. I've got letters of permission, and I'm going to kill those Christians. As they traveled and came close to Damascus, suddenly a bright light flashed from heaven, and Saul fell to the ground. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and I'll let you know what you are supposed to do. All those traveling with Saul were shocked. They couldn't figure out what was going on. They heard sounds but couldn't see anybody. When Saul got up, he was blind and his companions led him into the city. In the city lived a believer named Ananias. Ananias. Yes, Lord. Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is praying and has seen a vision of you laying hands on him to restore his sight. But Lord, I have heard how he is imprisoning and killing Christians in Jerusalem, and he even has permission to kill us here in this city. Go. He is very important to me and you do many great things and preach the gospel all over the world. He will also suffer a lot for me. So Ananias went and laid hands on Saul. God, restore this man's sight and fill him with the Holy Spirit so that he can tell the world about your redemption. Right away, Saul could see again. He got up and was baptized. Right away, Saul started preaching and became more powerful in Jesus every day. Many accepted his message, but others refused to believe. People that didn't like his preachings laughed and cursed at him, but those who did believe followed him.